Hey guys, it's Shane here from Laser Mobile, and today we will be doing a quick comparison between the HTC One M8 and the iPhone 5S. So let's get started. So to start off, the this is the gunmetal gray version of the HTC One M8 with 32 gigabytes of storage and a 64 gigabyte micro SD card in the side. The iPhone 5S just has 32 gigabytes of internal storage and has no micro SD available. This how and this is the gold champagne version of the iPhone 5S. The closest comparison to the HTC One M8 is the space gray iPhone 5S. So when you flip it over to the front, the HTC One M8 has a 5 inch full HD display with Sense 6. While with Sense 6, the Sense is new UI. This phone was released just two weeks ago, however, it had been heavily leaked before that. It also has the it's 1920 by 1080 p and has a 5, no, sorry, 440 ppi. The iPhone 6, on the other hand, has a 4 inch retina display, which isn't really full HD, however, it has 323 ppi. Um, it's 4 inches, as I previously mentioned, and there's a fingerprint scanner on the front, which is the only um, button on the front of the device, whereas the HTC One M8 has the three on-screen buttons. Now obviously the iPhone's running iOS 7 and the HTC One M8 is running Sense 6. Both of these are very smooth UIs. Um, however, HTC's is a lot um, more advanced. It has blink feed. Um, whereas the iPhone doesn't have any widgets, it just has folders. Um, Another feature on the HTC One is the Fitbit, which can track your health um, without any other external device needed. Now, I'm just going to jump right away into the camera. On the HTC One, it's a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera with a second camera for depth, catching depth, and a dual LED flash. Now I'm gonna stand up the iPhone 5S gold and space gray and I'm gonna take pictures I'm gonna show you the um, focus feature on the new HTC One M8. So basically what you do is I took the photo and you go and whoops uh, you go into edit and then I'll take you right into the effects and then you click the U focus feature so it's focused in the back and then, it, and then it can focus way back there up front again and it's a really cool feature and when comparing to previous HTC One, it has a bit better uh, zoom after the phone, and the colors are a bit better. However, not by a lot. And the shutter speed, however, is a lot quicker, so I can take all these photos very quickly, just as quickly as the iPhones, actually. So now I'm going to grab the iPhones and show you, actually, before I do that. There's some features, so there's the camera, the video, the Zoe camera, the selfie camera, which is 5 megapixels, dual capture and pan out 360. I'm going to show you the Zoe capture. So what you do is you just hold on the Zoe button. And on the old HTC one, you could take 3 second Zoe's, however on this, Zoe's can be as long or short as you want. So I'll play the Zoe. And then, 
that's basically what you what the Zoe's are and then the Zoe app is not available yet which is kinda weird but if I go into the gallery the gallery does look quite cool and then there's still the same highlight videos as there were on the old HTC one and that's another thing oh that's another cool thing I did not know about the highlight videos is it'll show you changing the focus on the photo so it'll change the focus in the highlight video obviously these aren't the best photos but I'm also going to show you the boom sound speakers now which are obviously louder than any other phone out there the HTC one is this really nice highlight video in a new gallery actually um, yeah so it also shoots in slow motion video however that is irrelevant because the iPhone 5S does too and if I put my finger here it also uses touch ID and um, you know very quick shutter speed on the iPhone it's very simple UI you can swipe between the different shooting modes square and then panoramic so I'm gonna take a I'm gonna first I'm gonna take a regular photo of the HTC one I made and then show you the quality and then after I'm going to take it with the filter and then so here's the quality quality is quite good it has pretty good zoom a bit better than the HTC's however both of these devices run pretty smoothly and the um, lastly before I end the video I'm just going to compare the specs so the iPhone 5S has a dual core A7 processor with an M7 motion chip and um, one gigabyte of RAM while the HTC One I made has two gigabytes of RAM, a Snapdragon 801, um, a Adreno 330 GPU, and the the uh, processor is clocked in at 1.2 gigahertz on the iPhone and 2.2 gigahertz on the One I made. Um, the um, M8 also has some sort of motion chip. However, HTC doesn't really advertise the motion chip because it can use it to track to use the Fitbit tracker and lastly the iPhone has a 1600 milliamp hour battery and the 1M8 has a 2800 hour 2800 milliamp hour battery now before I end the video I'm just going to show you a few quick gestures that you can use on the HTC 1M8 so one of them is if you swipe from side to side it'll launch blink feed and then if you swipe from the other side will just take you to the home screen. You can double tap to turn the device on. And if you put it in portrait mode and press the power button, it should launch into the camera. I mean the uh, volume button. Okay, so. Okay. So, thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe for more content on the HTC One M8 and the full comparison between these two devices. Thanks for watching.